Am I the butthole for ignoring my nephew after he stole an important $50 bill from me? There's a story behind that bill and it mattered a lot to me. My best friend Henry and I knew each other since we were in middle school. In high school, we were pretty adamant about being child-free and swore we'd never have kids. We decided to make a little bet though. First guy to have a kid owed the other $50. It was a dumb bet that didn't really take seriously and I completely forgot about until 9 years later. I was with Henry at a diner once for lunch and he slips me a $50 bill. It took me a minute but when it clicked, I was so ecstatic. Still one of my fondest memories with him. Two grown men hugging it out at a diner in tears after giving me the news that he's going to be a dad for the first time. His daughter was born after that, I was honored to be her godfather. Then unfortunately, we lost him all too soon, when his little girl was five. It's been three years since then and I still miss him. We were like brothers and I kept that bill as a memento. I see my goddaughter all the time so the bill is also a reminder of the first time I learned of her existence. Kept it in a small box with other sentimental things of mine on top of a dresser in my room. My sister is staying with my wife and I along with my 16-year-old nephew. They all know about this story by the way. I've told them before many times. A few days ago, I noticed the box was in a different spot than where I left it and that's when I discovered that the bill was gone. He eventually confessed what he did because I was frantically looking for it all over the place. My nephew needed the money because he wanted to take his girlfriend out to eat. But my sister wouldn't give him any cash since he spent all his allowance money. Honestly, I was so furious and had asked him how could he do that? Knowing that it was one of the few things I have of my best friend and he stole it. My nephew kept apologizing but I couldn't look at him. My emotions were a little too strong and I just wanted to get away from him before I started yelling. My sister offered to pay me back but she damn well knows that's not the same. However, she is saying I'm being too hard on him because I've been ignoring him the last couple of days and he's feeling ashamed enough. She's apologized on his behalf but does think I'm taking it too far. Right now, it's still all fresh for me. That bill was important to me because of the memory it holds. Now it's lost and I'll never get it back. I'm not at a place where I want to talk to him yet but my sister feels I'm being somewhat of an butt by punishing him like this as he's already learned his lesson. I'd just like to know if I am. Not the butthole I doubt there will ever be anything this boy can do to mend the pain he has caused and as sad as that is, he is 16 and needs to take accountability for his selfishness. His mother really needs to look at herself because she raised a child who decided knowing the context that his actions would be acceptable. Truly horrible situation and I am so very sorry for you. I would recommend you go to the place they ate to see if the owner still has it as generally places only do banking once a week so you may get lucky. Original poster replies, thank you. Don't think there'd be much luck there unfortunately. He said he broke the bill at a CVS before they went to go eat. I don't see ever getting it back and that still stings. It might be worth going to CVS to see if they still have it. Do you have any pictures of the bill where you can see the serial number? Or by process of elimination based on the date? I suspect that, by now, that $50 note has probably been banked or handed back out if someone broke a $100. $50 bills aren't very common. Most ATMs give out in 20s, sometimes 10s. It's not very often I've even gotten a 50 from the bank unless specifically requested. However, anything over 8 RS after spent at a store, it's probably deposited since they take larger bills out of the till pretty regularly during shift especially if change is needed. Sorry original poster. I don't think that bill is likely to be found after this amount of time. I get plenty of $50 S from customers at work. Are you a stripper? Just asking because I was a stripper. Who's spending $50 at a strip club? I must be effing poor, smiley face. Or bartender? Yeah even if physically still in the store it's probably inaccessible to store employees. However, recently, I've been receiving $50 bills from my ATM often. Have one in my wallet now. Yeah, speaking from experience. Large bills don't stick around long at retail stores. They're either given as change almost immediately for an even larger bill, or they go back to the safe, and no one but a manager can touch them until the next bank run, which can be anywhere from once a week to once a day, depending on how much cash business the place does. Pretty much. 
We don't want to take any chances holding huge amounts of money so we often place large bills in the safe. Having worked retail, the odds are approaching 100% that the bill had been taken to the bank the same night the kids spent it. Not just that. Some places might have a no exchange policy for safety purposes. Original poster is not the butthole though. You may forgive your nephew sooner or later, or try to forget it, but that is trust pretty much forever broken. Yeah, I'm sure that it'd be better than nothing would. Best of luck to original poster. I know it'll never replace the bill, but maybe you could have a new personalized bill made, maybe with your friends and or his daughter's face. You could even give one to his family. It could be a fun remembrance gift. I'd forever look at that as the reminder of that time my nephew thought it was a good idea to steal cherished memories from me, it could never be the same, only tainted. Exactly. This turd stole Op's irreplaceable memory. It's not about the money, well, that's a whole other issue, it's the fact that he took something that didn't belong to him, that had significant value to original poster, and not only did nephew see nothing wrong with stealing and breaking his uncle's heart for $50, his mother is excusing that behavior. Yeah, I'd be telling sis and nephew to go home. Maybe I could get over it eventually, but they would have to get the F out, until I did. Exactly. Nephew learned his lesson if the lesson was to do whatever crap you want, people might be mad a while but then your mom will step in. I think that is a really sweet idea. Hopefully original poster sees this comment. Not the butthole, I mean, at a bare minimum, he stole your money. More than that, he stole an important memento he knew about. At 16, I can't help but think it was calculated. He's not sorry he did it, he's just sorry he got caught. I'd weigh in on the side of it being impulsive, unthinking myself. It would also have been, relatively, easy for him not to fess up. I suspect he's regretting having done so. And then going to CVS to break the bill before going to dinner. There's about 10 times he could have realized this was wrong and returned the money before it was too late. Chance 1, going into his room. 2, going to where the box is. 3, getting the box down and opening it. 4, taking the bill out. 5, closing the box and attempting to put it back. 6, leaving the house with the bill. 7, driving to CVS. 8, walking in and asking the cashier or service desk to break a bill. 9, handing them the bill. 10, leaving the store. This is not impulsive. This is not lifting the uncle's wallet or the mom's wallet. This is sneaking into his room to steal a very important bill he knew was irreplaceable and then leaving the house to break the bill and take the girlfriend to dinner. You're exactly right. There's no way this can be described as impulsive. Also, what idiot breaks a 50 before going out to eat? There's literally no point. The bill will be at least 20 unless he took her to a McDonald's laughing out loud. The idiot that wants to buy condoms. Breaking a $50 is just an excuse. Oh, why do I feel so dense now realizing this? Horny 16 yo makes so much more sense. It's morning where I'm at. Just pretend you're in a similar time zone, and say your brain hasn't woken up yet. Well it was CVS so he probably bought condoms. I'm wondering if there was even a restaurant at all. Another poster mentioned condoms. I think they are onto something there. I'd weighed on the side of being a selfish little thief, but that's just me. Most teenagers are impulsive, but they don't rob their family members. He's not sorry he did it. He's just sorry he got caught. This describes 95% of all people when confronted with something they did wrong. They knew it was wrong. They were just really hoping to not get caught. Well, to be fair, the boy obviously still feels terrible since he is moping around. If he was sorry he got caught, but the worst punishment he got was simply not being spoken to. Well, for a narcissist, that's the best possible option. I'm leaning toward the boy is sorry. But this isn't something he can fix. All he can do is apologize over and over and over. And try to be a better man as he grows up. Literally. It's not as if he just didn't know the impact of what he did was going to have on original poster. He's 16, not 5. Crap, I'm 13 and I know that this would probably F someone up forever slash for a very long time. You have to be a, 
seriously stupid to think that this wouldn't be that bad or be, lacking a large amount of empathy, and just didn't care. Glad to see someone young speak out about this. 16 should know better. I think people are cutting him slack for being young but honestly, he didn't steal from original poster slash original poster's wife slash mom's wallet. He went for the memento because he knew original poster wouldn't notice immediately. That's the butthole part in my opinion. Kick him to the curb. That's not calculated, that's opportunity. Looking back, he is sorry for what he did. This horny kid isn't some FICO, he's just a stupid horny kid. Stupid horny kids don't steal from their uncle. Especially not an irreplaceable bill. Being a horny kid taking an opportunity is dining and dashing or stealing money from his mom's purse while she's not looking. He had to decide to take the bill, actually get it, and then break it at a CVS. He's not sorry he did it, he's sorry he didn't cover his tracks as well as he thought he did. I don't know, I've done some stupid disrespectful crap in my time, but I'm not that same person anymore. I massively regret how I used to be, but I've turned out to be a somewhat okay person since then. Some people just need time to learn. And he can learn while having a broken relationship with his own uncle because dinner was more important. I hope he actually is sorry but yeah, there were multiple other ways. He could offer to do some extra chores for extra allowance. He could ask his uncle for a small loan. He could, like you said, steal from mother's purse. He could steal from uncle's wallet. Maybe he thought that since his uncle wouldn't spend the bill himself, it's not as bad as stealing from a wallet. As unforgivable as his actions were, I just hope is stupid and thoughtless rather than intentionally evil. Not the butthole you are not punishing him, you are having strong emotions for a very good reason. They should be able to wait for as long as you need and I hope nephew has seriously tried finding that specific bill to give it back to you. Original poster replies, doubt he has and even if he did, it's highly unlikely he'd get it back. Actions speak louder than words. He already showed his true colors. If he was truly sorry, he could have gone back to the CVS and at least tried. He's sorry he got caught and he's feeling awkward and embarrassed because he has to see you all the time and he wants you to swallow your pain so he can go back to living selfishly and guilt-free. I'm so sorry for what you're going through. I'm an incredibly sentimental person and even just reading this story feels like a gut punch to me so I can't imagine how you must be feeling. My dad just passed and I'm hanging on to receipts I found from when he came into town for dinner in a basketball game. It's a receipt. It's trash. But I can't let go of it. I can't imagine losing that, never mind having someone steal from me and ask me to get over it because they're embarrassed. You might want to make a photocopy of the receipt. I find the ink on them starts to fade over time. Can confirm, I had the receipt from when I adopted my cat that has since passed away in my purse. I accidentally spilled tea all over my purse and it seeped in, fabric purse, and ruined the receipt. I cried for hours that night because that was one of the few things I had left of her. Even trash has value. Yes. He could do that and if he wasn't successful he could make a Facebook post or whatever about the said bill, asking if someone has it and will trade it. Could be worth a shoot. This boy deserves to be punished. He's a thief. Punishment shouldn't be a banned term. He is more than old enough at 16 to know that he stole that money for nothing good. And his mother shouldn't be expecting instant forgiveness either. The trust in this boy is gone and it might never return. I think they just meant that what original poster is doing isn't a punishment. He isn't being upset to punish the boy, he's being upset because he has very strong feelings about this situation and action. So the mom doesn't have any right to say the boy has been punished enough, because what original poster is doing isn't a punishment. He absolutely deserves to be punished though. He can probably never make this up. Yeah, this is an important distinction. And if this kid and his mother both equate you are having your own feelings about the bad thing that I did to you, which is causing me to feel bad with you or retaliating at my behavior with punishment, and I feel that I've had enough punishment so you should stop now Jesus, what a horrible, insidious thing to instill in a teenage boy. Makes me afraid for the girl he took to dinner, frankly. Agree, even if the note did not have sentimental value, his nephew still stole from him. He needs a swift kick up the butt and realize there are consequences to your actions. 
don't put your feelings aside just because your nephew is ashamed and hurt. Not this time. And if your sister, nephew, and whoever else cannot understand that you need space and time then they don't have to. They just need to give you back the little respect your nephew didn't have when he did that. I read yesterday how somebody lost some photos of their dead daughter and a user commented how it probably felt as if they lost their daughter for a second time. You're grieving for a second time. Original poster replies, it truly feels that way. People can say it was just an object and at least I have the memories. But it was something I could physically hold and still feel connected to him even if he's not here anymore. I once heard this metaphor about grief. I'd suggest you send it to your sister and tell her you need time and space to deal because you have to mourn the loss of your friend in a new and painful way plus a betrayal of trust from a trusted family member. Explain that the button your nephew pressed hurts just as much when your friend died. The hurt doesn't fade, the trigger just gets easy to avoid unless something big happens. Web link. People can say it was just an object and at least I have the memories. My most prized possession is an inexpensive necklace that was given to me by a co-worker. I was leaving the firm we worked at to attend law school, and her young daughter died around a month before I left. The necklace belonged to her daughter, and she gave it to me on my last day before I left, and told me that she felt her daughter was watching over me. The thing is worth less than $5, but it is priceless to me and I would be absolutely devastated if I lost it. If you remember the serial number or there's anything unique about the bill you could try tracking it down, it's always worth a shot and if you explain why you're looking for it I bet people would help you out. Not the butthole I don't think getting the bill back would help. I had sister-in-law steal some jewelry from me and pawn it. We eventually got it back but I never wear it. Instead of being a reminder of my grandma, it is now also tainted with the anger and resentment of that incident. Eels were angry that we filed a police report rather than just buying the jewelry back from the pawn shop. Sister-in-law is not allowed in our house. No apology can heal that breach of trust. Sister-in-law apologies are I'm sorry I stole your stuff, but, you have money, but you don't give me any when I ask for it, if you just gave me money slash stuff I want, I wouldn't do that. And eels think that's okay reasons. That hubs and I should just forgive and forget it. She's in her late 30s, started stealing as a teen. Her other family members call it repurposing the wealth. Oh man I'm proper chalking up here. You are not the butthole and I'm so sorry this happened to you. I would honestly tell them to get out my house you need time to process your grief and frankly, I wouldn't want to look at him either. What he did was cruel and your sister is an enabler of horrific behavior. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.